Okay, here we are. We've just seen the demonstrations for creating depreciation schedules as a straight line basis, as a double declining balance basis, or as a units of use basis. So now the accountant is going, or the management is going to pick one of these methods of depreciation, and there will only be one depreciation schedule set up for each asset in the company. And so we're looking at setting up the truck that Joe's delivery purchased for $40,000. So now, in this exercise here, we are going to continue and we're selecting the double declining balance method here as the choice for depreciating this asset. And now we're going to be journalizing the purchase of the truck, the first year's depreciation, and then the disposal of the truck on June 30th, 2007, a year after the purchase. So uh, let's proceed with journalizing so that. So in this case, we're going to be using the double declining balance schedule. The other two wouldn't exist. And the accountant can just simply come here each year on December 31st and they do their adjusting entries and grab the depreciation expense for that particular year. When they journalize it, then the accounting records would match the depreciation schedule. Net book value would be over here on the right, accumulated depreciation account balance would be shown right there. And there you go. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to journalize the purchase on June 30th, 2006. We purchased that truck for $40,000. So there's our journal entry for the purchase of the truck, debit to the truck, $40,000, credit to cash. There's our notes on that. So now we're going to record at the end of the year our first depreciation entry. We're in adjusting entry on December 31st. We come down to the depreciation table and grab that 10,000 and that's going to go right there. So then we complete the journal entry with a credit to accumulated depreciation truck 10,000. And then a comment here, see truck depreciation schedule. Now the next step here is we disposed of this truck. We sold it for $25,000 on June 30th of 2007, a year after we purchased it. So now let's do the accounting required for that. And remember the first thing we do on the disposal of an asset is we have to journalize the depreciation up to the point of the sale. So we sold it on June 30th of 2007. We have to calculate depreciation up to the point of the sale. So here we go. So the depreciation expense through June 30th, 2007 was half of the second year's depreciation. This is double declining balance. Over here on our depreciation schedule, you can see a full year is 15,000. So it's going to be half of that or 7,500. We have a debit to depreciation expense of $7,500 and a credit to accumulated depreciation dash truck $7,500. And there's your note explaining the calculation. Now let's go ahead and post all of these transactions to their T accounts to help us do the final closing entry for the disposal of this asset. We come down here, we had that first transaction which was a debit to the truck of 40,000 and a credit to cash of 40,000. Okay, that takes care of this first one here. Then we have a debit to depreciation expense. Okay, and this is year one of 10,000 and a credit to accumulated depreciation expense of 10,000. So there we've posted our year one transactions. Okay, now we're going to come down and journalize the posting of depreciation expense up through the sale of the asset on June 30th of year two. So that's going to be 7,500 to depreciation expense, 7,500 to accumulated depreciation. So there we go. Now remember that expense accounts are temporary accounts. So that 10,000 was closed out at the end of year one. And there's our balance in year two, 7,500. But on the disposal of the asset, that's not the issue here. We have in our permanent account accumulated depreciation. We have a credit balance of 17,500. 
So there we go. I've drawn an underscore there indicating the number below it is a summary of the numbers above. And we have a $17,500 balance in the accumulated depreciation truck account. The balance in the truck account, of course, is still the original cost of $40,000. So now we're ready to journalize the disposal of the truck. So we were given the sales price of the truck at $25,000. So there's our $25,000 debit to cash. Next, we know when we dispose of a fixed asset, we have to debit the accumulated depreciation account related to that asset and credit the asset account. So let's do that. So we come down to our general ledger account. There we got a balance of $17,500. So that's going to be credit balance. So we're going to debit that $17,500. And when we post that credit down here, $17,500, that's going to end up with a zero balance in our accumulated depreciation account. Now I'm going to skip a line because we don't know for sure yet whether we have a gain or a loss, but we know we are crediting the truck account. And that was for the balance, the $40,000 original costs. So now we can add that up. We've got uh, 42,500 in total debits and only 40,000 in credits. So we need a $2,500 credit to get our journal entry to balance and a credit on a uh, is going to be a gain on the sale of the truck. There you go. Gain on disposal of truck. So there we go. When we posted all of these things come down here we got a $2,500 gain on disposal and there we go we've got a zero balance in our trucking account a zero balance in our accumulated depreciation account for that truck and there we go we have completed except for our explanation journal entry for disposing this truck so there you go you've gone the full cycle on this particular fixed asset the truck we've purchased it we've depreciated it its first year we depreciated it a portion of its second year and then we disposed of it. We created the depreciation schedule for it that we use for doing our journal entries related to depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation. And then we journalized the disposal of the asset. So there's the full cycle on fixed asset depreciation.